Hello everyone, this is Season, and welcome back to another episode of Display Calibration. Today guys, I'm going to show you the calibration settings for this amazing TV. This is the Vizio QLED series, which is the base of the P-series with the Quantum Dock technology base of Samsung. This TV, I like it a little more than the Samsung for the sole reason that it reaches a higher nit peak brightness than pretty much the Samsung's or any other TV on almost every window that, that has been tested. The TV has amazing local dimming. The blooming is a little bit noticeable, uh, but with a little bit of subtle light, you guys pretty much won't, won't notice, and it has very deep blacks. Apart from that, the only thing that I would say that I don't like about the TV is that the upscale from 720p or lower resolution than 1080p um, technology, you know, the upscale is not that good. But it's one of the reasons, and the other thing is that mm, it doesn't play all the the video data that you might like MKV, MP4, it plays those, but some that are a little more specific, like for Sony and LG, it doesn't even play them. And that's a little thing that I, I didn't like. And when it plays them, it, it stutters a lot. So I hope Vizio can actually improve on the video playback. Let's get to it, guys, and I really hope you enjoy. First guys, first thing you gotta do is go to picture mode and on picture mode I already have a setup and I already put my name on darkroom season just to make sure I actually you can see that I got lightroom and game mode season but for now this is gonna be the darkroom on the auto brightness you obviously leave it off you don't want the TV to be changing the brightness when you have it already set up for a darkroom environment on backlight and let me make sure I'm gonna get closer to you to it guys so you guys can notice on backlight guys you're gonna put it on four that reaches around 120 nits, a little bit lower than that. But I mean, even though the standard is 100 nits, this TV with 120 nits is just to off, off put some of the, when I calibrated the TV, uh, brightness lowered a little bit. On the brightness, you leave it at 50. On contrast, it starts at 50 and I put it at 48 but you could put it at 49 and it still grabs higher than the than the white uh, than the white uh, standards color leave it at 50 <clears throat> tint 0 sharpness starts at 20 I was gonna put it at 24 but then I really make sure about things and you know, tr double triple quadruple tested and actually 18 or maybe 15 actually lowers the sharpness and actually makes it it takes gets rid of the Halloween of the TV on more picture uh, temperature this is the one that is going to give you the best um, correct feature which is going to be normal <clears throat> if I change it for any other temperature it's going to be the other ones are going to be cool uh, computer but the one that reaches the the standard for white balance is actually normal <clears throat> excuse me on black detail you leave it off if you guys want to see more details or want to add the uh, like similar to dynamic uh, contrast you could do it do it here um, black detail and change it but on on this one I already pin and lock the picture setting so it's gonna be off for now full active array I put it on medium why because I'm higher on high um, active array is he actually the contrast actually lowers instead of being higher so medium gives the highest um, contrast ratio of the TV <coughs> even even low gives a better higher contrast ratio than than high on motion control you just leave it off 
because it's basically based off for media or or um, video content like movies noise leave it off but if you guys want to you can put it on low or whichever you guys decide to do uh, there's analog noise and digital noise and game latency obviously this is for um, video content so leave it off film mode you could either leave it on or off it doesn't really affect the I actually sorry um, film mode leave it on because it is for uh, video movie content or similar stuff color space is gonna be on auto so it's great so you don't have to worry about it gamma put it at 2.4 even though I can try and reach gamma 2.4, it's harder. It usually stays around 2.2 or 2.3. <laughs> Viewing an angle, leave it off. If you put it on on, it's gonna add, give a, a sub pixel um, cross that is gonna um, affect the sight viewing. Just leave it off and concentrate on seeing the TV from the middle, from the center up front. On color calibration, guys. On the color tuner, we're gonna go to red on hue, put it at five. On hue and in green, put it at negative six. Blue, zero. On saturation, I'm gonna put negative 10 on red. On green, negative five. And on blue, negative one. On brightness, 12 on red. On green, 3. On blue, 10. Offset, you're going to put 2 on red, 0 on green, and 0 on blue. And then on gain, red is going to be negative 4, green is going to be 0, and blue is going to be 12. Guys, I recalibrated this TV like 10 times just to make sure. Uh, that I was getting the correct measurements and the most balanced one so I, to give you guys. On cyan, you're going to put zero. Magenta, negative one. And that's on hue, guys, by the way. On yellow, you're going to put four. Then on saturation on cyan, you're going to put negative six. On magenta, on saturation, negative two. In yellow, negative four. Then on cyan, brightness, you're gonna put two. On magenta, you're gonna put six on brightness. And yellow, one. Now we're gonna go to the gray steps. 11 point balance. <clears throat> Let me see if it allows me. Okay, um, five percent, guys. You're gonna put on red. You're gonna put zero, green eight, and blue negative ten. Um, ten percent on red, negative three. Green two, blue six. On um, twenty percent, you're gonna put red negative three, green one blue zero on 30 percent red is going to be zero green one blue is going to be zero then at 40 you're going to put negative seven on red green one and blue three on 50, red negative 6, green 0, blue 7. On 60, red negative 8, green negative 1, blue 6. 70%, red is going to be negative 4, green 0, and blue 0. 80%, red is going to be negative 5, green is going to be 0. And blue is going to be 8. On 90, red is going to be negative 1. Green is going to be negative 1. And blue is going to be 5. And then on 100%, red is going to be negative 6. Green is going to be 0. 
and blue is going to be 7. Well, guys, well, guys, that's it. I hope you guys um, get get it, understand it, and enjoy it. And hope most of you enjoy the calibration settings. If you guys have any questions about the TV, anything that you want want to know about it, just you know, send me a, send me a message. Um, I still calibrate locally on the area professionally for people that they want to get the most accurate calibration on their TV and all you have to do is go to my email send me a, send me any uh, information where you want if you want to calibrate or not and I'll be happy to oblige okay guys I hope you enjoy and see you next time